Ready? We can Probably. go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So today we had an um, interesting day. Mm. Everybody got a good suntan in Death Valley. Enjoyed the weather. Facilities. So far in our uh, hot environment testing, we have uh, the vehicle system and the battery system holding up extremely well. Uh, we've been able to do some long distance driving on the vehicle in extreme conditions. Heat testing is really when we look at the vehicle as a complete system and we really stress the system to its limits and look at the performance of the whole vehicle together. We need to make sure that the vehicle will work in these extremely harsh conditions and that any condition that the customers may come to with the car will perform as designed and intended. Okay, all right, so it's already getting warm, pretty warm, right? So let's take advantage of the heat. So today's route, today's agenda, we'll leave here uh, with all of the vehicles and we'll go from here to first stopping point is Badwater. So at the lowest point, and we'll only stop at Badwater for maybe 10, 15 minutes. So we'll keep the car moving basically the entire day today. So then we'll go Badwater out through the same route we took yesterday. And then we'll make a turn and try to go up one grade climb called Dante's View. We'll go all the way up the grade to the top, see the vehicle performance as we climb up the grade, uh, HVAC performance, cooling performance, everything as we go up. And then we'll come back down Dante's View all the way down the grade and then return drive here at the end of the day today. So we'll keep moving. Should be a good test of the whole vehicle's system capability and also driving range today. And just keep in mind, uh, we have almost record temperature, record high temperature today. So perfect for testing, but you know, keep, keep drinking. Keep yourself cool, keep from the sun, so it should be really, really hot conditions. Okay, everybody good? Okay. All right? Okay, fine. Okay. Thanks. Let's do it. Temperature and humidity. So what exactly are you doing with this? So we're going to check the ambient temperature and see how close we are to the daily high. Still going up, 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 up. Yep. Yeah, it's right steady around 118. So yeah, we're here in Badwater right now with our Fisker Ocean test vehicle. Ambient temperature of around 118 degrees, which is perfect for testing. So we drove about an hour to get here and the car performed beautifully. HVAC and cooling system, battery performing as intended. We're taking all the data and we'll continue to drive in these conditions, maybe and get a little warmer throughout the day. So we're gonna go from here at the lowest point and now we're gonna climb all the way up the mountain to a place called Dante's View and climb that grade and then again, see how the vehicle, all of the systems work together. Nine maximum to go down fifty low fifty forty eight forty nine. We have here maximum temperature of sixty degrees centigrade in the front and uh, on the rear also maximum sixty four. That's the uh, surface temperatures. So 
So we're still here in Death Valley. We're at the top of the grade called Dante's View. We drove the cars uh, around quite a bit today, drove all the way up to the top of this grade. First thing I noticed is how great the car handles. It's super fun to drive, so the chassis dynamics team did a really good job. Other than that, all of the high temperature uh, testing we're doing is still going well. Air conditioning, powertrain performance, powertrain cooling, all working really well in this vehicle in this extremely high temperature. We started 118 degrees at the bottom of the grade and about 102 degrees here at the top of the mountain, so still quite warm, but system's working really well. In general, the heat testing is really we want to check the whole vehicle, all of the different systems of the vehicle and how they operate together. So of course, before we bring the vehicle to heat testing, we can check the systems, check the operation in a lab, check in a heat chamber, but we really don't see all of the interplay of all the different systems and how they work together until you come to the real world environment and drive the cars on real streets and you see how people behave in the cars and how you drive the car, how you feel in the car and how everything works together in these real world conditions. We've been able to confirm the vehicle driving behavior, the vehicle cooling behavior, cooling of the high voltage battery system, as well as the cooling of the cabin and interior of the vehicle for the passengers. So what we're gonna still tweak before SOP, obviously there's calibration and logic that will update on these vehicles. So with all the data we take here in this high ambient condition, we can continue to learn. We'll continue to calibrate our cooling system logic We'll continue to calibrate the drivability of the vehicle, how the acceleration and regenerative braking working together. We'll also be able to calibrate and tune the climate comfort of the vehicle, the HVAC system, making sure that how things ramp up and the cool down is as expected and working really well. So far during this trip, we've been able to drive a lot of miles in our Fisker Ocean test vehicles and really see how they feel and how they drive. And it's been a great opportunity to really see the advancements that the team has made, the engineering teams have made. And during our several days of driving all around the desert from Los Angeles to here, put a lot of miles on the cars and feel the comfort of the vehicle, the NVH, the chassis dynamics, the powertrain, the performance of the electric drive system. All of it has been really great. The car feels great and it's it's super fun to drive.